James Akers here, the tie guy. Uh, today we're going to be tying a beautiful uh, Zinnia tie. It's a brand new tie to me. I just got it in a few, uh, actually just a few days ago. Haven't had a chance to tie it or wear it yet. It's a very plush Zinnia. It's a pretty thick tie for Zinnia. Uh, it just has a very plush, soft feel to it. Super high quality. Uh, the silk lay is absolutely perfect. This is one of those ties where the, the, uh, the skinny part and the thicker part are two different colors. So it gives the appearance of, uh, you know, almost like two different ties when you're wearing it. So I think it's going to be a real fun tie when we put this all together here. As far as the review goes, I was kind of doing it there. It's very plush, very thick. Um, one of the best feeling Zinnia ties I've ever felt or had in my hands, actually. Um, this particular one was a design they did for our Burdorf, uh, Burdorf Goodman for the uh, department store. It was a, a, it's a Zinnia tie, but it's labeled... Uh, Myrna Gildo Zinnia and Burdorf Goodman. They made it for an anniversary for them or something like that. So I just got it in. I uh, just took the tags off of it. I'm excited to tie this up. So let's do it. See how it comes together. Now with this being a thicker, plusher tie, it's going to require more silk to create our full Windsor. So we're going to have to come down pretty far for our, probably down this range here for our spot, which means we don't have a lot of slack here. Let's tie it together. See how, uh, tie it up see how it comes together. We take the long part of the tie over the short part, up and through. Then we take it around behind, keeping everything nice and tight. Up, over, down, and through. And I'm going to stop here in a second and show you something. This is what I call a checkpoint. This is where we want to make sure everything's coming together uh, nice and, uh, and, and neat. We want a full triangle here. What I want to show you though is, and I say this in some of my videos, but the, especially when you're dealing with a plush silk, a thicker silk especially, you want to keep your hands, your fingers on this knot through the whole process, keeping it nice and tight. That's how you create that perfect triangle at the end. Now we take out uh, the long part over top of the triangle we just created, back behind, up and through, and then we're going to push it down through that uh, pocket we've just created. Hold the top of the pocket and pull the tie down through that, just like that. Now we tidy it up here, we just turn the, the edges down, hold on to the knot, pull on the long part of the tie to tighten it up, creating a beautiful beautiful triangle there and uh, we to bring the knot up to the top we pull on the skinny part of the tie or the shorter part of the tie. Um, now let's pull the collar down, well actually check our length first. We want the tip of the tie, this part here, to be halfway between the top and the bottom, or between the top and bottom belt buckle. It's absolutely perfect, it's just over halfway. So now we pull the collar down. When we have that right we know we picked our spot right. You know that's how we know we picked our spot right. Now let's just tidy this all up here. We've got a beautiful triangle going on. We want to have no gaps here. We don't want to see shirt behind that. We want this to be symmetrical. And looking at this little screen over here, absolutely perfect. I love it. Absolutely love it. Now, the look is going to start scrolling across the bottom of your screen. I'm going to go through it with you right now. Today, we're wearing a brown Amerna Gildo Zinnia suit. It's a brown suit by Amerna Gildo Zinnia. We're wearing a purple Eaton shirt. Eaton makes a very high quality shirt, beautiful buttons on the shirt. Uh, we're wearing a purple um, Amerna Gildo Zinnia tie. This tie is purple with almost like a navy uh, diagonal stripe throughout. And we're pairing that today with a brown Salvatore Ferragamo belt with a gold belt buckle and a beautiful pair of chocolate brown Bally Oxfords. On my Instagram, Tie guy James Akers. You'll see selfies of me with the outfit on, close ups of the knot, close ups of the tie, so you can see all the detail that Zinnia put into this, as well as the whole outfit staged together. So check out my Instagram, Tie Guy James Akers. Hey guys, if you enjoyed my videos, please click subscribe and like, uh, but I am ready for work.